Hello, here you have a short tutorial that explains how to set up an email notification for the plugin, notification, custom notifications and alert for WordPress. The first step would be to install the plugin. If you already have the plugin installed, you can skip to the next step. You can download the plugin directly from your WordPress dashboard. To do this, you need to go to plugins, then click on add new and look for notification. After a few seconds, you will see the plugin notification, custom notifications and alert for WordPress by bracket space. Just go ahead and click on install now. After a few seconds, the button will turn on blue and it will say activate. Go ahead and click on it. If everything went well, you will receive an alert that the plugin has been activated. On the left side, of your WordPress dashboard, you will see a new section called Notifications. Go ahead and click on it. If it's the first time you install the plugin, you will see the notification wizard. But for this tutorial, just go ahead and click on Skip the wizard. In order to add a new notification, you will need to go to Notifications and then click Add New Notification. If you prefer, you can click as well the button on the top that says add new notifications. This will perform the same action. So just go ahead and click on it. On the new screen, at the top, you can name your new notification. It's recommended to name it to something that you will remember. You can name it however you like. Don't worry, this will not appear anywhere else. For this tutorial, we will name it uh, welcome email. The next field you need to fill is in the trigger. This is basically most of the things you can do in WordPress. For example, do you want to receive an email when a user signs up? Or maybe do you want to be informed when one of your editors publishes a new post? Or maybe when someone buys a new product? Don't worry, we got you covered. We have added the most common WordPress actions. Probably you won't need anything else than this, but in case you do, you or your developer can register your own triggers based on any WordPress action. Important to remember, you can only select one trigger per notification. For this example, we will select one of the most common triggers, which is uh, in the user category, user registration. This essentially means that we want to send an email each time someone signs up to our WordPress website. The next option you need to select is carriers. In other words, it's basically where you want to receive your notification. For example, you can receive your notification by email, by webhook, discord, slack and many more. Uh, for this particular tutorial, we will cover only email carriers. In case you are interested in a different carrier, you can watch our other tutorials. So go ahead and click on email. So far, we have named our notification, we selected our trigger and email as our carrier. So now let's set up the content of this email and who will be the recipients of it. When you select email in the carrier section, you will see new options to be filled. For example, subject, body and recipients. So let's go ahead with subject. Subject is the name of the email. In case this email is for your users or customers, remember to give a relevant name because it is the first impression. It is the reason the recipient will or will not open the email. So let's name it to something like welcome to our website. The next part you need to fill in is the body of the email. This works as a traditional text editor. So I have some already text uh, copied on my clipboard. So I, I just go ahead and paste it. You can make it bigger or smaller as you want. And you can personalize the text as you want. For example, you can make it bold or make it, I don't know, bigger. Uh, you can also add links, for example. Uh, let's add a link here on the store. So.
and I don't know you, you can also change uh, the the color of the text uh, in case in case you want it right also one more thing is that depending on the trigger you selected in the steps before so remember we selected user registration um, on the right sidebar of the window you will see some options called merge tags okay merge tags are a tiny bit of dynamic information that is taken automatically by wordpress for example when someone signs up to your website most likely he already provided his name or email address instead of manually typing each time uh, each of the emails we can use those merge tags to generate the content dynamically for example for this welcome email i'm setting up uh, i will use the trigger uh, uh, user registration okay and i will use a tag called user login which will display in the final email as mm, the username and that the user selected for example uh, john or kevin underscore 12 uh, and so on so just go ahead when you click on it it will be copied already so you just need to paste it anywhere you want uh, pro tip you can uh, put it uh, this merge tag on the subject or in the body of the email when you have the subject and the body of your email ready the next step will be to add the recipients on here you will see two columns the first one is type and the second one is recipient for type you will have uh, different options for example email merge tag uh, administrator user user id or role okay. and for email merge tag you can write here any email that you want or you can use a merge tag like user email okay uh, this is really useful for uh, general and automatic repet repetitive actions like sending automatically a welcome email to each new subscriber. The next one is administrator. That's, well, this cannot be changed. Uh, this will be by default the administrator of the website. The next one is user. Uh, this, is, this will show uh, a dropdown of existing users. Obviously, I'm the only uh, new user here on this fresh uh, fresh install of WordPress the next one is user ID uh, here you need to use a valid user ID or you can use the merge the merge tag user ID uh, this is useful for informing specific users about the change on their account for example and finally you will have role role is the a drop down uh, will appear a, a drop down of existing roles on the WordPress site you can only select one option so in case someone signed up as an editor, author, or subscriber, you can send emails to this group right away. So for this tutorial, I will use the first option, which is email merge tag. And you can type any email. A pro tip is that you can add as many recipients as you want. So for this particular one, I will go ahead and click user email and this will basically perform the action that to each new subscriber thanks to this uh, each subscriber will receive an email okay after filling the recipients field just go ahead and click on save if you go ahead and click on notifications you will see the status of your notification the title and when it was published lastly don't forget to disable the default wordpress emails otherwise your the awesome notification you just set up might not work as expected to do this you need to go to the wordpress dashboard then go to notifications inside notifications you will see an option that is called settings go ahead and click on it you will see a new screen and here you will see integration just go ahead and click on it and here uh, you will have the possibility to disable default WordPress emails like new user, welcome email, new comment, I don't know, password change or whatever you want. 
For this tutorial, as is um, user registration, we will disable the welcome email. So just go ahead and click on it. Scroll down and click on save changes. And that's it. That's all you need to set up a new email notification.